Hey guys, um, welcome to another 3D Vista tutorial. This one is about the new hotspot editor that's been released in the uh, 3D Vista beta version right now. Um, and I'm just going to go through a quick overview of, of what kind of features there are. Now, quick note, if you want to try out the beta and you have a project, first go to File, Export, Create Project Backup with Media, save that folder somewhere. Um, that's the first step and second step is to go to project duplicate and duplicate the project and call your project something like uh, beta and then uh, this thing so that you have your duplicated projects especially for the beta all right so what we had before in 3d vista was a view like this so um, you're seeing an icker rectangular view. You cannot move around in 360. You can m zoom in like this, but like this is not the real view and all these shapes are not like as they're supposed to be. And if I want to go now to the left, I cannot because the panorama is ending right over here, which is quite annoying. So um, you had this in the settings, but here you could not uh, add like a hotspot right over here. And this is now possible in the new hotspot editor. So that brings a lot of extra new cool things, which makes it more intuitive to edit things within 3D Vista. So one of the things, um, the first things to do in 3D Vista um, for navigation purposes, when you had like something such as an arrow to navigate from one panorama to another, you went to image, uh, you click on animated, for example, and what you see here is like this one animated uh, uh, icon is created uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Um, this is luckily now in the past. Now we can ignore like all of these and just keep it with this one. And um, so there's no need to recreate the same icon in different versions, left, right, and so. Because, as you can see, we added here, and we can now say, um, uh, let's make this turn a little bit to the left. So this is for that one. Uh, copy, paste, maybe make it to the right. Um, maybe we want it to be uh, like this, uh, a bit more flat on the floor. So now we can do it like this, and have it more like this and then turn it maybe a little bit around whatever you like and say okay this is it and now if you would have this and you add multiple of these and let's say you want to change the color or you decide to say something else now you can have it here library settings open the library to replace this item let's pick another one such as uh, this one and say apply to all same hotspots and now as you can see it takes all the information just the same and it's all replaced so this speeds up the workflow a lot if you're using this to uh, navigate i mean you also have other methods of navigating through panoramas but this is one of the main things so this is extremely helpful so another thing to do is to um, add uh, polygons so let's go uh, here and say okay we add it like this and like that and bam, bam, bam. and now we have this and um, something to keep in mind about polygons is that when you're creating them uh, the mouse when you move it it will move around as well so you can make like very large polygons as well so for example like this and Okay, it doesn't make sense to have it like this large, but let's say you do have it. And now when you click around, um, you might move this around, which is very annoying. So you can do Control Z to go back, which is sometimes a bit dangerous. Now, if you want to move over this, um, like you want to turn the camera, you hold space bar. So hold space and then you click around and then you can just click safely around without moving anything by accident. So this is a very important thing to know. Um, holding space. Um, now I release the spacebar and I do this and you see I'm messing this up now. Uh, one very important thing is that when holding control we can now add polygon points which is a lifesaver. In the time before we were not able to do this. So holding control you can add them and you can also remove them. Uh, keep control 
like on your keyboard and you can have these options. So another thing we can do um, when we have an image, for example, uh, this one, we place it uh, so we can make it larger. We can now rotate it as I already explained, but we can also place this image on a wall. So for example, now it's not on this wall. Uh, we can try rotate, rotating it like, uh, like so and, and like this, but this is all pretty complicated to do this properly. I mean, you need like a lot of sense for like how it all works. And so luckily there's an easier way. Um, so we have the free access mode, which we are currently in, uh, but we also have the free mode. And the free mode means, I'll show you, that you can just drag and drop these points to something where you feel like it makes sense. So like this, maybe this like there, and there's a bit more like this. And now when we move around, it's just right over there. We can adjust it a little bit to our own liking. And this is like 10 times easier than trying to do this all with the, the uh, free access mode. Um, be aware that when you uh, turn back to free access mode, uh, it will reset and you have to do it over again. So it's, it's either one or the other. And this also applies to uh, video hotspots. So we can uh, go to a video like so. When we click on a video, it will play. Uh, and now let's place this video on the wall. So we go to, uh, well, it's already set on free mode, so that's nice uh, for video hotspots. You can say, okay, like this, and this like over there. And now we can click it and see like, ah, okay, like this. Maybe this should be a bit more like this. So you'll need a little bit more feeling for the aspect ratio. Um, like, but that's a matter of a little bit of trial and error. Yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> and so um, that's about the free access mode, or the free mode. Um, free mode, free access mode, <laughs> okay. And another, well, very, very exciting feature of this new hotspot editor is the web frame hotspot, which I'll go more in depth in another video, but here's already a quick overview of it. Um, so here you see web frame, um, and you can add it like this. We can go to my website um, and say, okay, let's take my website, uh, put it inside here. Always make sure that like, if it shows nothing or like only white, then the website is probably not embeddable um, and you need permission from the developers and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Um, but as long as your website is embeddable, you can just fill in the URL here. And um, well, just like all the other content here, we can say free mode and place it inside a nice uh, thing like so. Let's see, yeah. And we can preview this. And a preview, we can see how it actually is going to look. So um, there you go. Now, when I'm zoomed out a little bit too much, I can't really read what's going on there. So I'll have to zoom in uh, a bit more like this. And um, now I can scroll over my own website in, in, in a virtual tour, which is pretty like mind blowing in a way. <laughs> I mean, you can even book a training from the virtual tour um, uh, and say, okay, I want some 3D Vista training. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to read when it's like this, but it works, you know, and you can just fill in your credit card details and make like payments within the virtual tour, <laughs> you know, like, wow. <laughs> and there's like a ton of possibilities here. Um, like this is just one very simple one. Um, I'll go more in depth in another video about that. Uh, for now, you can just quickly see. I uh, hope you really enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't done already and see you in the next video. All right.